Hey guys, this is Eric from Wanganer with Wanganer Racing. Uh, before I begin this video, I want to tell you guys thank you. I actually reached 2,000 subscribers a few ago, and I was pretty happy about that. I'm very thankful for all of you guys that have watched. Um, it really helps out. I ain't got rich yet. I think I made $12.58 on this whole deal. So over a month's worth of videos, it was twelve fifty eight. But anyway, uh, thank you guys. But today's video is on this intake. If you look at it, you're like, what? What's well, it fit? It looks like it fits like a big block Ford. I mean, LS. You're incorrect. It's a Cadillac. And then before someone said, well, it is an LS. Uh, before Cadillac said LS is in them, and even the LTs now, they had their own engine brake, and it was like their big block. And they were, they used to be the biggest engine you could get, which was the Cadillac 500. Anyway, I mean, that's what this fits. So it's from Cadillac Performance. I've ported this one, so that's the reason I'm doing a quick video. It's pretty rare. There's not a whole lot of people that are running Cadillac 500s, and this is for one of my customers who's actually really big into the Cadillac stuff. But um, yeah, so the manifold itself started off as a clover leaf. Now it's got some, as far as manifolds go, the design's really not that bad. You got nice runners, they're pretty good. It's not a horrible design manifold. There's some things that needed tweaking. It had a clover leaf that I took out. But the biggest thing is on this runner, these runners here, these inside ones. I'm trying my best to show this, but it would come out and it curved. So it would actually scoop this way as it came out. So right here where it was coming, you could think of it like a turn this way. So I actually ground this and opened it to give it, because it needed more area here anyway, because they're feeding some pretty big engines. Um, but it would curve out this way and left like a notch. So I, of course, moved it over and also straightened it because you have it. It's, it's not good to have a curve on the port, but it's really bad to have it at the entrance. So anyway that's why i did that but it's got a burr on the on the floor which is where i think it needs to be you don't need it on the walls if you're trying to have fuel separation issues on the walls you've probably got other issues but anyway um this is 60 grit everywhere else except for like the dividers of course i'll polish those but this is for a nice deal for those uh, cadillac guys uh, like the one in the million um uh, pretty good intake i in my opinion it's probably the best intake you guys have, but your choices are pretty limited. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day or evening. And I told you guys I would start doing recommendations for restaurants around Tulsa, just because I think it's kind of funny in case anybody ever here. Um, so I've I've got a video one already for um, barbecue places and pizza. Um, the next one I will say is my favorite place for a burger is Goldie's. There's two places, actually. I'll give it two is Goldie's and some people are like, ooh, Goldie's. If you've ever been here, people will say that. But no, Goldie's has the most delicious burger. It's the Mushroom and Swiss. That's by far my favorite. However, right across the street from them in Broken Arrow, because Goldie's is in Broken Arrow, um, where I'm based. But right across the street is Ron's Hamburgers. They have the best any other burger. Like they have, they have this one called the Ron Special and it's got bacon, ham, cheese on it, and it's delicious. And their service is on point. I will say Ron's fries suck. Um, but anyway, the burger is delicious. So I added that to it. So I hope you enjoyed this. There's your little restaurant recommendation because I like to eat and I like horsepower. So you got both in this short video. Thanks for watching. You guys take care.